Remember, remember the 5th of November. If you've ever seen the movie V for Vendetta, you probably remember that part where the character V sends out a broadcast to the entire country, challenging corruption and authoritarian rule. He did it while still remaining completely anonymous. So in that spirit, and to celebrate the 5th of November, HowToVanish.com is showing political activists and everybody else how to do the exact same thing. How to exercise your freedom of speech while protecting your anonymity. Political activism is growing around the world. We have things like the Arab Spring in the Middle East, WikiLeaks. Even here in the U.S., we have the Tea Party. We have Occupy Wall Street. These political activists are promoting ideas that challenge the current political and economic power structure, and they're exposing political and corporate corruption across the globe. But challenging the powerful and exposing corruption is risky. Activists and whistleblowers can suffer financially, they can be harassed and intimidated, and in extreme cases they can be faced with violence, imprisonment, and even death. You probably remember a Google employee who was imprisoned for several days for organizing protests against the Egyptian government. And even WikiLeaks has been financially blockaded, which essentially has crippled their organization because of the information they published on their whistleblowing website. Now, those are mild cases of intimidation. For some political activists, the threat of violence is very real. You may know of David Kelly. He's a British weapons expert who died under suspicious circumstances after revealing the British government had manipulated WMD data to make the case for going to war in Iraq. We've heard high-ranking politicians in the U.S. call for charges of treason and the imposition of the death penalty for Bradley Manning for blowing the whistle on misdeeds in Iraq and Afghanistan. The bottom line is that people need to be able to speak out to challenge ruling powers and expose corruption without risking their finances, their freedom, and their lives. But that can be difficult to do. One of the big problems is that the law can't protect political activists or even freedom of speech. There are very few countries that actually have a law that protects whistleblowers from unjust retaliation. But even where those laws exist, they're almost completely ineffective. In fact, usually those whistleblower protection laws make it more difficult and make it worse for the whistleblowers. But in most countries around the world, they have laws that actually prevent whistleblowing or exposing corruption. For example, in some countries, it's just flat out illegal to oppose the government. In other places, even in the U.S., whistleblowers and political activists can be charged with other crimes. Those crimes can range from something trivial, like trespassing, all the way to something extremely serious, like treason. Another big problem is that there is a different law for the people in power. The powerful rely on their political and corporate cronies to insulate them from legal consequences. Richard Nixon was pardoned by Gerald Ford. Congress made AT&T immune to liability for illegal wiretapping, even though what they were doing was clearly illegal. And if you want to go back to those Mississippi civil rights workers in the 60s, the state of Mississippi refused to prosecute the killers, even though their identity was known. But the main reason why the law can't protect activists, why it can't protect whistleblowers, is because you can't trust corrupt people to respect the rule of law. When corrupt individuals control the legal process, they'll break the law to preserve their power and cover up their corruption. But there's still a way for political activists to challenge the power structure and expose corruption without risking their finances, their freedom, or their lives. It's by publishing anonymously on the internet with an anonymous website. Free speech includes the concept of anonymous speech. There's a long history in the U.S. of anonymous free speech having a real impact. The techniques political activists used to use to protect their anonymity were well suited for their time. But now we're in the information age. We need a lot of new techniques and a lot of new tools to protect our anonymity now. There is a lot more information out there. It's filtered and sorted, archived and forgotten much faster. Just placing a call to a newspaper editor, or dropping an anonymous letter under the door, or posting an anonymous comment on a website isn't enough to effectively challenge the ruling powers or expose corruption. We need the power of the internet. But we're also living in a time of almost complete digital and financial surveillance. Every phone call you make, every email you send, every website that you visit, the books you buy on Amazon.com, most of your financial transactions are recorded, databased, and searchable, usually without a warrant. 
All of that activity can be traced right back to you, making it really hard to do anything anonymously. At HowToVanish.com, we know how important it is to be able to speak anonymously. And fortunately, we know some things about privacy that other people don't know. So we created a simple five-step system to publish a website completely anonymously. This system will give political activists and everyone else the anonymity they need to challenge the political and corporate power structure and expose corruption while completely protecting their own identity. We show you how to use the internet completely anonymously to prevent electronic surveillance so your identity stays secret. We show you four really common ways to make anonymous payments for the services that you need to publish your information. There will be no audit trail that leads back to your bank account or your credit card. So searches of financial records, no matter where they are, will have no trace of your identity. We also show you how to accept anonymous payments to prevent a financial blockade, like what happened to WikiLeaks. And finally, the five-step system is extremely easy and completely within the law. So just about anybody can use it. You don't need to have any advanced technical or hacking skills to use it. Even if you don't ever plan on publishing anonymously, it's the kind of information that is good to know just in case you ever need it. Ultimately, it's going to show you how to speak freely without being subject to threats, intimidation, financial ruin, prison, or even death. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Get your freedom of speech back. Go ahead and click on the link to get the five steps to anonymous speech.